This conference the, will now be recorded. After the session, the recording sessions will be shared with everyone. Okay, so the record session will be shared with everyone along with the documentations. So what are the documentations I've been covering, right? All the documentations I'll be sharing with you all so that uh, you can go through my recording session and you can go through the documentation and you can practice from your end. Okay, so in my training session, uh, like 90, 95%, I can say 95% will be practical. 5% will be theoretical okay so i just I, I don't go to every theoretical part okay so i i more concentrate on practical okay so taking the different different examples uh, for different different scenarios of the particular tool i'll just uh, explaining you each and everything okay so for all those things i'll be def uh, documentation is different i'll share the documentation so you can just go through the documentation and you can practice from your end so if you have any questions uh, while you uh, practice so in the next day you can ask me okay so in the next day uh, the uh, session starting you can ask me what are what are the questions you have so i'm ready to answer your questions okay so for daily for first 5 10 minutes we'll have a uh, question and answer session then followed by our uh, regular uh, sessions okay so this is all about training so until here anyone having any doubts you can ping me on the chat as well okay i hope no questions okay cool right <clears throat> right so uh, here uh, i'll just uh, i'll uh, i'll uh, okay so we i have a table of content i'll be sharing the table of content with uh, yeah, like prakash going to share the table of content with every one of you so here i'm going to explain the complete table of content what i'm going to teach you step by step okay so uh, how it works means i, I think uh, as a devops member uh, i think everyone uh, should have some knowledge on the scripting language right because as a devops uh, you have to uh, when you go and uh, join in any organization so you need to you you get a lot of scenarios when you where you need to automate a lot of uh, uh, manual task whatever you do in day to day okay so for automating your uh, manual task so you need to be learning some scripting language whether it can be shell script or it can be ruby or python or it can be any other language okay it's up to you so uh, that's the reason my session starts first chapter starts with the linux okay so basic linux commands followed by shell scripting okay linux and shell scripting first chapter starts with so what are the uh, linux operating system because each and everyone should be comfortable in the linux because everyone easy to work on windows but when you come to the linux a lot of people come from the different background right that's the reason my station started with linux so what is linux server how you need to connect to the linux server how do you execute the commands and how do you uh, get the output of uh, uh, the one all those things uh, we gonna see it. okay so we, we see all these things and then followed by uh, we start executing the uh, we, we gonna start writing the shell scripts how do you write a shell script basic shell script to the advanced uh, level of shell scripting we'll see all those things okay so okay before going uh, before going here uh, can you uh, quickly introduce yourself what kind of background you are from and whether you have any uh... okay 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 i'll increase the front side so before uh, 
going further so whether you have any uh, experience in the uh, uh, shell scripting or what kind of background uh, every one of you have can everyone quickly go through whoever it is chakri or manikant or uh, pranita hello ah uh, yes uh, uh, i don't have any it experience either right now okay 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 fine fine okay okay how about check for well, this is takri here i don't have any experience on uh, scripting okay okay fine check we so pranita how about you i so masters yeah. mp system mm -hmm. yeah. okay cool and yeah I so okay uh, scripting or anything aha uh -huh. okay cool cool that's that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, totally completely fine because i think uh, everyone comes from the different background so i think everyone is new to the all the uh, uh, scripting and uh, all this uh, kind of technology okay cool so uh, as i said earlier my session uh, starts from the basic level to the advanced level okay complete my training so i said that's the reason so linux basic linux commands in the linux itself i'll explain uh, how it varies from the windows okay in real time scenario how the windows works how the linux works and how to write down the shell scripts so if okay shell script in my coming sessions i am going to teach you ruby as well as part of my other chapters so come into scripting language as part of my training i'll be teaching you shell script and ruby okay so knowing one scripting language is fine for you in real time scenario so if you know shell uh you can ignore python or ruby whatever it is if you know python you can ignore shell and all those things okay so here first chapter we're going to start with the linux and shell scripting okay so once we done that so from chapter number 2 we're going to start with the aws that is amazon web services okay so basically what is a devops what does devops do so first of all you need to know this right so before going to this develop content so what is devops okay so devops is not a tool okay so devops is not a technology first first most important thing devops is not a tool devops is not a technology devops is a team okay devops is a team which manage your complete project okay so project means okay let take an example like this now everyone know about facebook a common platform a social networking platform uh, where people start sharing their views and uh, different ideas right so so uh, facebook is a social platform right so now 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 okay now uh, let take an example like this okay so now you have a uh, facebook okay now uh, you are you are owning a company called uh, you are uh, so you are own, owning some company okay so let's say a company name call okay disha okay so you are owning a disha company and in disha company there is a team called devops okay okay uh, okay let's say you have a disha company now there is a uh, facebook and uh, facebook want to build their platform okay so a place want to build platform for 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 their project 
okay so they then what they done they have uh, uh, reached to different different companies and finally disha company with they deal with our disha company okay let's suppose okay now this disha company what they do is they define something okay so they they deal something and the project has came to us now if you want to build a platform then what they do we have architecting so they they define some architecture diagram and say this is how you have to build the project that's what they define okay architect team will define how your project has to be means how you, how many number of web servers how many application how many database servers like what is the uh, complete project structure how how your project structure has to be and how many number of servers it has to be they will define so once they define from here devops team will take the handover and they build the platform okay so they build the platform for fb so where they build the platform they build the platform on any cloud okay cloud means what are the different clouds we have in the market amazon azure google cloud platform and uh, ibm cloud and uh, oracle entity and uh, orange business services like this we have something uh, etc so we have n number of cloud providers different cloud providers okay so out of this cloud providers the more common used plat um, cloud providers are in top 3 these are the top 3 amazon azure google cloud platform so out of this complete in it industry 90% of the shares of the cloud is owning by 90% of the cloud project shares are owned by aws other 8 to 9% azure other uh, other 2 to 3 percentage gcp and other 1% are sharing by other cloud providers okay that's the powerful of aws okay so why aws will while we going through the session will you will understand more while i'm going through sessions okay so now 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 what i do i choose the aws as a cloud provider to build my platform so i choose aws and i start creating my uh, set up my network servers and adding adding users into servers and set up uh, uh, installation of uh, uh, like what are the installation of projects uh, like installation of uh, applications web servers we all we do in the uh, servers and all those things okay so in the aws we set up the uh, networks and servers and we manage all our uh, s3 data means data of all the logs files everything okay so we use aws to build a platform okay so now First chapter is about learning about basic what is the Linux thing and what is the shell script and all this thing. Second chapter is about uh, learning AWS. Okay. So in AWS what we do to do how you build your platform on AWS means how do you set up your network, how do you manage. Okay. So in AWS we have so many subtopics here I'm defining. Okay. So VPC uh, building your uh, uh, network stuff and uh, EC2 how do you manage your virtual servers in Amazon and how do you manage your larger data because when you keep on a BC example everyone has their Facebook account right everyone has their own profile and you keep on uploading your videos you share a lot of data you upload your photos you write down your lot of information messages right so where does this data get stored on you cannot show a lot of data in the easy to because your server becomes slow so where do you store we have something called buckets the place where you can where you can store only the data that is called s3 okay and how do you manage your permissions in aws level for different different number of users using im identity access management how do you create larger database instances using relation database instances like this in amazon we have so many subtopics example okay let me log into amazon amazon cloud provider and Sorry. 
so this is amazon uh, cloud provider where you see i'll just click on the log into the console see this is the amazon console amazon web service console so these are the this many services amazon is getting provided to the end users okay so do we use all the services or do we need to learn all the services answer is no not at all okay so why because to build a project we require only few services then what are the so we have why we have so many services these are additional services provided with amazon example you want to build a project what amazon is saying is we provide everything for you don't go to anywhere just opt for amazon web services and use all our services to automate each and every services in your project but if you use all this if you start using all the services the cost the cost means you have to keep in mind about the cost when you use starting using a cloud provider right so if you use all the services all are paid services nothing no one gives a free service to you right so the cost to the project get keep on increasing that's the reason what people will do is they start using the third party tools instead of using each and it so only the the what are the platform we build to build a platform means to set up a network servers to manage your data uh, volumes okay all these things we you we you uh, those services we use in amazon the other services we use some other uh, uh, we, we use some other services okay so some other services what are services I, i'll just to show you here okay so in amazon services to build a project what are the services required okay so what are the major services required in amazon okay so vpc ec2 s3 iam rds and we have some more few services like uh, uh, eks ecs okay and uh, what else what else what else what else yeah these are the main major services okay so these are services which i'm gonna cover in the chapter number 2 okay so once we build in from means we create a servers and network in amazon so after that what we do we have to install the application so previously we used to do manually but not now devops team we don't do manual completely automation so from chapter number 3 what we do we use configuration management tools that is called so that is here i'm going to teach you about chef and hansel so configuration management tool so that is chef and hansel so these are the two different tools okay both are competitor tools okay so we have in the market for the con we have different kind of con configuration management tools like chef uh, hansel puppet salt stack right so but out of this ansible is the most used tool in the market after that chef is the most tool so i have picked top two tools to explain that this with the help of these tools all the application installation are adding users into the server so what are the services provision in amazon right so installation of application inside the server adding users in the server okay how do you automate all those kind of stuff we see in chef we going to write the here i'm going to teach you little bit of ruby code piece of ruby code how do you, because in chef we write ruby code but in ansible it's just an uh, xml files okay so nothing much coding it's very easy to use ansible okay so with the help of configuration management tool how do you automate and install application installation and adding user in server we see so fifth chapter we say about uh, git okay and uh, uh, sixth chapter uh, we see about uh, maven and uh, nexus so here git is nothing but this is a uh, uh, source revision control tool so see for a project okay now uh, i said we are we are about a facebook project right so for facebook project what are the automation code you write 
developers we have a java developers or python developers or uh, php or whatever the developers they keep on writing the code so where a dev developers or a devops guy where we write our uh, chef code a ansible code right so where do we keep all our code developers or devops so git is a place where you put all your source code the code which we write down okay so source play git is a place where is a tool where you store all your code example if you want to see an example so example like so whenever i write my piece of code all i do is i store my all my piece of code here so here we write a different piece of code example like a java code okay so what i do if i go inside this particular folder a, a small schools pos project like see different different modules like developers write the piece of code and they put all the piece of code over here so if a devops guy so here uh, terraform is one of the tool which i'm going to teach so here all the piece of code related to terraform okay i just uh, here one more uh, tool called terraform so terraform is uh, terraform so here uh, so okay okay i'll come to terraform so git is a place where you store all your source code like this all your piece of code all your piece of code where i'm gonna so source code uh, how do you source code which okay what are the code we write okay so we uh, we have to take the source code and we have to deploy way on the ec2 servers virtual servers right so for this what we do is we use maven as a build tool to convert this source code into artifacts okay maven is a tool which will convert source code into artifactory and that artifactory we, we store into the nexus that's a artifactory tool it's a just a tool it's very easy to learn okay so here you see so many topics but when you go to the real time scenario and start using it's very easy so so with the help of cd and cd continuous integration delivery here i'm gonna use jenkins jenkins with the help of with the help of jenkins we use maven and we convert this source code into artifactory with the help of same jenkins job we store our artifacts into the nexus and this complete operation is done by the ci jobs ci jobs will take the code from the git repository with the help of maven we convert the source code into artifactory because see what you see all the code here right so we we have all the code individual files but you cannot take this individual files and you cannot upload it to server so what we do with the help of build tool we convert this complete piece of code into a zip file into a jar file or a var file and we take that artifact file we can we cannot keep on uploading into the code into the servers right so we we need a place okay we use nexus artifactory or maybe we can use s3 bucket to store our artifact okay this ci job suit so once we got this artifactory that's a artifact so we we trigger cd jobs in the jenkins and we deploy the code to the servers so in the ec2 with the help of chef and ansible we are installing application with the help of git and jenkins we are what are the developer write the code we are deploying the code into the ec2 now your application up and running so we use monitoring tool to monitor your servers because see inside your server your server up and running now example github is a server github is an application which is running on server if github is suddenly goes down it's a big downtime big issue right so you need to monitor what's happening to the git how your server is getting monitored how your application getting respond how your data is getting all these things right so nagios is a monitoring tool to monitor your servers okay so we use nagios to monitor my servers all of the infrastructure we built up we build up in amazon right so we use nagios so here you gonna teach you about uh, something called cloud watch so cloud watch is also one of the monitoring tool which is provided by amazon so this is a open source tool so chef and ansible is a we are doing out amazon also provides chef and ansible but it's a paid version 
so here i'm going to open source okay so with the help of nagris so this is a virtualized and on virtualized project which we build so we build an infrastructure we automate the application installation and software we deploy the code and we monitor the environment this is a complete process which we explained here and so this is a virtual so how now now if you heard in a real time scenario now everyone started speaking about microservices instead of creating an individual server for example if you want to create application database web servers you are creating an individual ec2 servers right instead of doing that what people are doing instead of managing individual application for individual server what people are saying is why can't creating any single server why can't we deploy all this application in one server using microservices that is called as docker okay so docker is the one which is a microservices tool which will help you to uh, build a lightweight container means in a single server you can deploy your application web server and database how because docker does that how does i'll explain your real case so in, okay for this docker we required some orchestration for that we use kubernetes kubernetes is a tool which will help you to automate your stuff so here while we creating in ec2 we are using chef and ansible and we are using different tools to automate right similarly for docker you require a kubernetes to automate all those stuff orchestration basically okay and for monitoring our uh, services or containers in docker in amazon we say as servers in dockerized level we say as we say as uh, containers so to monitor our uh, web server container or application container we use some monitoring tool called prometheus to monitor containers docker containers okay so these are the complete 10 chapters i'm going to teach you okay so here i miss terraform right so terraform is nothing but terraform is a tool see first step in chapter number 2 i i'm going to show you how you create servers how you create network manually but in real time scenario no one are going to agree when you want to go and create so how do you automate so terraform is a tool is a platform where we write a template and when you trigger this template your complete project will build all your network all your servers everything will be automated with the help of terraform when you write a template and trigger so how you write a template and how do you build your complete project in a cloud i'll just show you in the terraform okay so these are the 10 chapters which i'm going to teach you in my training classes so any doubts as of now so these are the very advanced level uh, means the most common used to tool in the market all those topics i have been covering here so if anyone want anything please let me know so any doubts or if you are you are expecting something else or anything let me know so the table of content uh, the organizers will share with you you can go through that like okay i hope no question okay if no questions uh, will wind up so the complete training will be uh, about 40 uh, 50 hours of training classes will be okay 50 to 55 that will that will be almost for one and a half month to two months of training classes will be happen as said every day will take one hour of session from monday to friday okay so if you have any doubts if you want to reach me on my personal you can contact our organizer uh, they can uh, put me on to then uh, conference call so if you want to discuss on one to one i'm happy to do that okay thank you
Yeah. yeah okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks all. Thanks for your time. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye bye.